Well, our empty streets are a sign of just how little we're driving right now. So why are we still paying vehicle registration? That is the question a local bus company is asking with the majority of its fleet gathering dust at the depot. Madeline Slattery has more. For the past 16 years, Aaron Parker has been a bus driver at New Line Charter Bayside Coaches. I've sort of gone from a 50-hour week down to sort of 27 hours a fortnight. The business has 108 coaches. These days, most are here at the depot, just five are on the road. While it would usually turn over $20 million a year, the company has ground to a halt. We dropped down to 78% of our turnover and now we're going to 95. Its general manager says if registration could be suspended, it'd be one way to save much needed cash. We pay Vic Roads probably about... Uh, $350,000 a year in registration fees, uh, so there's significant savings to be had. While it has deregistered a handful of vehicles, it's not a perfect solution. To re-register them, there's a whole process to go through. Um, that costs us time and money. It's a pain not only being felt by transport companies, but by regular families as well, with driving essentially off the table, aside from doing it to get groceries. Registration for a car works out to $16.05 a week. Under a six-week lockdown, that's about $96, more or less, going down the drain. We've seen Daniel Andrews use photos of the Monash Freeway and the Eastern Freeway being empty. Now he needs to reward people who are doing the right thing and not using Using their cars. The state government says instead of inflating registration costs in July, it froze them and that healthcare card holders can access concessions. That's little comfort for those who have been forced to put the brakes on. Should we get through this? Approximately three years to get back to where we were before COVID. Madeline Slattery, Nine News. STA Travel.